Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play with Haze Fest. Today, we're starting a run of Draken, Order of the Flame. This was released in 1999. Originally developed by Surreal Software and developed by Psygnosis, the game follows Rin, a young woman with extraordinary martial skills, and an ancient dragon, Arok on their quest to free Rin's younger brother from the evil sorcerer Navaros. Let's go ahead and start a new game. We will be picking the hard difficulty as the too hard difficulty is just that. For a little brother, you're not half bad, Delon. The way you found Adamar's dagger was clever indeed. I hope his reward is better than that last book of Proverbs he gave me. There were a couple of funny ones, though. Like, your tongue weighs practically nothing, so how come you can't hold it? <laughs> and, uh-oh. Quick, get behind me. Think she's okay? I saw Dallin told him to run, but I think they caught him. Not sure. If they even so much as touched him, I'll hunt them down and kill every one of those filthy beasts. <sighs> There's darkness afoot, Rin. This is only part of... I mean, only the Order of the Flame can confront it. The Order? That's a myth, isn't it? The book! You need the book, locked in my house across the river. An orc stole the key. I last saw him entering the tavern. Find the key. Get the book. Enter the temple. Get the soul crystal. <laughs> Find Erok. Erok. Dallin? That cutscene, though, for 21 years old, that was not bad. Um, back when I was very, very young, I played this game for the first time. Um, we're going to check our options here. Okay. We're going to hit the I button to go into our inventory, and we're going to equip our... What is this? Adamar's Blade, 5 damage. You can't really see it. Let me move my screen up a little bit. Oops, tab. One second. Let me move my... Oop, that's not it. That's not it. There we go. We're going to move my ugly face just up a little bit. We're going to go right back into it. Alright. 
and hit the options again my bad now we can read the stats right there right there right there stats holy moly dude creeping up on me Ooh, put the moves on oh my cut his arm off cut his arm off and he died um, let's see here. We got a, a backwards slash. We got a stab forward. We got a ninja slice. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's take a round. Well, let's take a look around, rather. Let's speak English. Let's speak English. Uh, let's take a look around and see if we can find some items to take care of our very empty inventory. Look around. I did some play testing. Yeah, mace. Mace acquired. I did some play testing to uh, kind of figure out how all this is going to work. Got some barrels here. Let's go ahead and break these apart. Uh, we're going to go upstairs before we go down to the basement because I feel like the upstairs. It's going to be a lot smaller than the basement. This is a pretty big place. And if the basement is as big as the first floor, then... What's this? Health elixir. Alright. You can see our health bar on the bottom left corner there. Um, I don't see any mana bars or anything like that, so... I think this is a straight up hack and slash. No spell casting. What's this guy's deal? Look at him, look at him ducking. I'll cut his arm off. He bled to death. Cut his arm off, that was sweet. Let's try sneaking around this corner. Not the most stealthy. Got it. If I can sneak up on this guy, I'll take him out. His buddy's trying to signal him there, but... He's got the He's got the moves. Alright, he's down. He was ducking under my swings. Jump on this. Thanks, Ren. She's helping me out there with that voice line. And that's a good another good point to bring up. This game is voice acted. 1999. This game is voice acted. A lot of games out back then were text. What happens if I open this door? Alright. The game looks really good, too. Um, for being a Windows, like, XP or Windows 2000 game. It took me a long time to get the compatibility mode to, to get this to work right. And there's some places you can go online to download this game for free. There's a lot of communities that, um... Are all about this game. This is one of those cult classics, so to speak. Another health potion. Let's uh, let's grab this key here. Key to priest's house. All right, two more health potions there. Where was that guy that we saw that was in here? Did he die to the spiders? I guess he did. Break everything we can. Apparently we can't get through this door. There's no keyhole. The key that we got is for some other location. Some hidden barrels here. Look at that stab, that's so good. We got a we got a move stab. We got a, a spinning slash attack. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, let's get out of this tavern and find the next building to... We got a, a few bad guys out here now. Let's see if I can sneak up on them. All right, we took one of them down. Whoa. Oh, I jumped right over him. 
Oh, cut his hand off. Oh man, I love cutting their body parts off. That's so good. And if you just run away from them after you cut their, uh, their limbs off, they, they bleed to death, which is nice. Games like Dead Space, you cut a limb off, they just keep coming. What's in this burned down, destroyed building here? Anything? Alright, looks like this place is empty. Let's see, we've been in the guy's house over there. We've been inside this tavern. Check our map. We had a couple of structures to the north. Let's see if we can take a look at those structures. I am not currently playing this playthrough on Twitch simply because my internet's down currently, so I'm locally recording this game, and uh, I'll be putting up some uh, videos once I get my internet back up. Internet's been down for about three or four days. Um, it went down Tuesday, and the person that we have coming to look out, coming to look at the uh, the internet, is not coming until Friday. So we're down Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, yeah, wife wasn't happy. I'm not happy. Hey, a cave. There's a cave right here. We're gonna run down this cave and see where it leads. Oh, spiders. Pick that spider. You ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. This game kind of reminds me of uh, Rune. If anyone's familiar with Rune on PC, this is what this game reminds me of. Can I go swimming? I can. And look, they even put a, uh, where is it? There it is. They even put a breath meter in. Look at that. Fancy. Kind of reminds me of Tomb Raider, the way this model looks. Rin's model. Trying to figure out how to get out of this water here. Alright. Let's keep going. More water? Woo! Can I swim down? I can! Uh, where am I going? This way? Okay. More spiders coming up. Switch to my mace with the mouse wheel and let's give these guys heck. Alright, two attacks and he's down. Oh man, we got a bunch coming. Knocked his legs off. Turn the other guy into chunks. Alright. This mace is nice. Does a lot of damage. In fact, it does 10 damage, which is twice what the sword was that we were using earlier. that. Whoa! Ow! Man, they, they chunked my life. Look at that. One single hit, and I'm like at two-thirds life. That's serious. Whoa! Almost got steamrolled there by these guys. Difficulty is nothing to play around with. Okay. Spiders are down. We are free to keep going. It looks like this put us back at the inn we explored earlier, so we're going to have to run north again to explore that house that we missed. So let's do that. Cool little area though. This way. Once we're done with these houses, we'll go back to the south. A lot of the audio in this game is really loud, and I guess that's just because it's so old. Maybe speakers weren't that great back then. Got a guy up north. We got a, a mithril short sword. We have a indestructible starting blade. And then we have a club. Seven damage. My bad. I thought it was ten. So this deals a little more than our starting weapon. Oh, he heard me. Been ducking. 
Got you. You didn't duck that one, did you? No, you didn't. Alright. You got this. Can I break this? I can. Nothing in either one of those. A health potion in here. Pretty bare bones. I guess back then they really didn't decorate the games like they do nowadays. Like in Witcher 3, you go into a room and it's just overwhelming the amount of stuff that you can see. But these games are pretty bare bones. Yeah, I played this game when it was out on PlayStation or PC back when it first came out. And I fell in love with it. And then I forgot about it. And then I picked it up. 20 years later just to relive some childhood fantasies. I just can't shake how Ren looks like Tomb Raider, like Laura Croft almost. I mean, she's she's stacked, you know. I like her outfit though. Very very warrior. Oh my god. What is what's this? What is this? Uh, we're going to save it with the F5 key. Um. Oh. Oh my god, he knocked me down. That did not just happen. Let's try again. Man, these guys are tough. Got one. Heal. Ow, my god. This guy's wrecking me. Got him with that one. Man, that was pretty brutal. What's this? Rusty chainmail. Could use that a second ago, couldn't I? Oh well. Save it. Look at this. See the moon up there? Oh, excuse me. Moons. There's two. Is that a moon? It's a Death Star. Pretty interesting. I got all the graphics in this game turned all the way up, in case you could not tell. And uh, I was lucky enough to get it full screen. Ow. Oh. Got him. These guys hurt so bad. We got a broken bridge here. We're not getting across this. Can't jump that far. Um, I don't see even anything over there that we can even get. Um, I'm gonna try jumping down here to see what happens. It's kind of pushing me. I can't swim against the current. Yeah. It's not letting me swim that way, so. Let's go back. Let's see if we can get over here. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. It looks like we are SOL as far as going that direction. Let's keep moving. Oh, another one. Two more. Oh god. Cut his arm off. Ow. He's not bleeding to death, chat. Heal. Stab him in the face. Got him. Stabbing him in the face with a blunt weapon. 
works every time. This stuff was pretty rough, man. Alright, let's go this way. See if there's anything useful down here. Oh, another one. Hit him twice. That was that was tough. Those little uh, zerglings are pretty nasty. I think they're probably my most hated enemy so far. He almost had him. Ow. Poke you with that one, buddy. Ow. Ugh. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Go ahead and heal. Take that guy's potion. Save it. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Getting blasted in the face. Um, before we go this way, let's take a look across this little river. With this burning building and that hut over there. I'd be able to find some supplies. Alright, looks like this is an empty building. I hear another one of those zerglings. Must be around this uh, wall here. It's Adamar's house. Okay. There he is. Oh. Man, those guys are tough. They really take some hits. Got a dead guy over here. Doesn't seem to be carrying any loot. So let's move on. Is this the key? Oh, we found the house that the key belongs to. What's in here? Got a blue potion. Ocean of Life. From our experience nowadays, blue usually means potion of mana. We have a book now. Atmar's book. Atmar's book? They were waiting on me. Um. I'm stuck against the wall! Ow. Juked me. Okay. Save it. How many potions I got? Six, including the potion of life. We need to be careful. They're taking way too much damage. Trying to use these fancy moves, but I seem to be executing them poorly. Yeah. I like how when you put armor on, it actually changes the look of the character. Oh, wow. There's a few of them down here. Got him. his arm. Potion, thank you. We're going to take out this guy. Just flurry. Just swing everything. Swing, swing, swing till you kill him. That's the one I need to master right there. I feel like I can hit this guy with it. Nope. Oh, I cut his hand off. 
He dropped his weapon. Woo! Oh, look at that. There's there's a block function. Who would have thought? Potion of life. Nice. That guy dropped the good loot. Keep going. The health potions we've seen so far only heal a portion of your life. I'm guessing that the blue ones, since we don't have a mana bar, I'm guessing they're like a full heal. Let's take a look around. Um, doesn't seem to be anything in here. What is this? Got the same kind of markings as the book we picked up earlier. Let's hit the, the use button. A staircase. Look at that. Spinning pillars. Nice touch. I like how she's just like poking her chest out while she walks down these stairs. Sticking out her butt. No one walks like that. That's more normal. Look at this. There are legends from times long past of an age without kings when the world was united by an alliance between the races of dragon and man. These are the legends of the Order of the Flame, a brotherhood of roaming protectors bound together through holy magic so that the soul of each man was joined with that of a single dragon. By their strength and wisdom, the world was led and peace reigned for centuries. But as in all times, there were those whose hearts held only hatred and darkness. In secrecy, they gathered to plot and scheme, and in time, the Dark Union was born. Sworn to overthrow the Order, the Dark Union slowly spread its web throughout the world, working from the shadows to sow dissension and unrest. At last, through bloody decision, control of the Dark Union was seized by the War Mage, Navros, and his ancient dragon, Kiros. Together, they betrayed and murdered an assembly of the Order's greatest minds, leading the Dark Union at last into open revolt. The first blow had been struck, and the Dark Wars had begun. Through black sorcery and unholy alliances, the Dark Union had amassed a nightmare army which swarmed forth from the dark places beneath the Earth. Magic of unimaginable destruction was unleashed upon the world. Seas boiled away to deserts. Mountains lay shattered. In battle after battle, the Order were driven back, and their great cities ground to dust. No longer content to share the reins of power, Navaros betrayed the dragon Kiros. In a perversion of the ancient bonding ritual, he devoured the dragon's soul melding its body into his own. Now grown monstrous and nearly invincible, Navros prepared to lead his armies against the last remnants of the Order of the Flame. With one desperate hope, the surviving mages of the Order invested their power in a single weapon, the Rune Blade. Surrounded and outnumbered, the Order's only chance lay in this sword, Born by the warrior Heron and the dragon Erok. As the armies clashed, Navros entered a mystic trance, drawing power for one final devastating spell. With the words of destruction on his lips, the betrayer was struck through the heart with a rune blade, and the tremendous forces gathered within him were unleashed upon the field. When at last the smoke cleared, both armies lay decimated. Where Navros had stood, a jagged rip had been torn in the very fabric of space. In the smoldering crater below, Heron lay dead, the rune blade broken in two at his side. On that blackened hill, only the dragon Erok still clung to life. The order was no more, but the Dark Union's dreams of conquest had been shattered. With the fall of Navros, the Dark Union's hold on its monstrous armies collapsed. Chaos spread across the land, 
mankind banded once more into many tribes and kingdoms, and the great achievements of the Order of the Flame were forgotten. The dragons, weary at last of the world of men, withdrew into timeless slumber, never again to return. The age without kings had ended, and of that brief golden era, only the legends remain. Cool. That was fantastic. Anybody else imagine when they close their eyes and hear that voice speaking, Adria from Diablo 1? That's kind of what it feels like when uh, when that cutscene played. It feels like Adria was from Diablo was talking to us. Oh, we got a jumping puzzle. Great. Let's see how badly I do. Jump! Got some audio. Sounds like uh, rocks are falling. Gotta be careful. Nice touch. Uh, is the wall gonna, the floor gonna fall? Oh! Save it! Run! 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 Keep running, fool! Woo! Am I getting some Tomb Raider vibes? Whoa. That wall got aggressive. Switch back to our mace. Very decorated tunnel we have here. Wow. That's some nice colors there. Um, can I push this? It's not moving. This one looks like I can push it. It's broken in half. All right, that one's that one's done. What happens if I step here? Anything? There's a way to go at the bottom. How do I get there, though? Pretty sure if I jump off, I will just plummet to my death. Ah. Oh. Now what? What is this thing? Heron's Crystal. Now what? Oh, stairs. Look at that. Audio still a little loud for my headphones. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit more. Oh, into my step here. All right, automatic ladder or er, escalator. It's not a ladder, folks. Woo! Almost, almost hurt. I wonder if you're stepping in the wrong, standing in the wrong place, and you stand like too far to the wall, you'll just die coming up probably. Other games are like that. They don't really have a um, a slant mechanic to them, where if you hit the slant, you'll just move. If you normally. They're just hard surfaces. You hit them and you just get crushed. Okay, we have a bridge here with a bad guy on the other side. Let's take out this bad guy. Got a map update. There be a tree. Go check out that tree. What's this guy doing? He ran away. Ow. He juked me. Stop juking me. Cut his hand off. Oh, he hit me in the face. Ugh. Got that last hit off. Go ahead and heal. Save it. There's a bad guy here, too. Got him. That jump attack seemed to connect. Here's some people running around doing stuff. Come on up here. Nothing. Hmm. Here comes one. Let's see if I can take him out. Nope. 
Whoa. Guys wearing some chain mail. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Guy is destroying me. Try to be fancy and it's just not working. Not working at all. Oh, we saved a little too far back. Let's try again. Missed the head attack. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. You guys are spongy. We're gonna save it again here. We're gonna take this dude out coming right at us. Gotcha that time. Gotcha that time. What's up? <gasps> Where'd your arm go? That's right. Who's your daddy? And what does he do? Alright. We're gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you would, hit that subscribe button. That way you can follow the entire playthrough as I upload more videos. I'm Hastefest, and this has been Draken Order of the Flame. See you next time.